Have you ever checked your accounts only to find your trading VPS has crashed and now you're holding a huge loss or even worse, a margin call that you didn't see coming? I have been there. So in this video, I'll show you how to install and configure FX Blue's totally free account monitoring tool so you can track all your trading accounts and the VPS status in real time. So no more surprises. Hi friends, if we haven't met, my name is Lisa, a data scientist turned algorithmic trader, and I've tested hundreds of robots and had about 40 accounts running all the time on different VPSs. Now I've tested over six different VPS providers and most of them have crashed on me at least once. And if there are open trades, then you're exposed to the market without any control. Unfortunately, that is just the world we live on. Even with 99% uptime, these things just happen. So what can we do as traders? We can monitor the VPSs and give them a kick in the bum every once in a while when it happens. And reacting quickly can mean the difference between getting out with a break-even trade or losing thousands and thousands of dollars if the problem goes undetected. For this video, I've chosen trading FX VPS because out of over six VPS providers that I have tested, almost all of them has crashed on me multiple times. And as of recording, this VPS provider has not crashed on me. So in this VPS, I've already installed two MetaTrader terminals, which are already running. If you want to know how to install multiple VPSs, then I will link the, that video at the end of this one. So we've got our VPS running, we've got two terminals running next to install FX Blue. Head over to fxblue.com and on the top right hand side, click register. You need an email address, a password and an optional username. Enter the registration code that they sent to your email. Now you are in the account details section of FX Blue and you can go back to this page anytime by clicking my accounts at the top. And you can see already in this table here, I have one username which I can use for one of my trading accounts. Let's create a brand new username. So I click new and put in another username. Great. This is the live URL of the second account that we created, but we don't need that. Now there are multiple options for you to link your account to FX Blue. So there's the account sync, which I do not recommend it because you are subject to the FX Blue servers. What we want is the publishing app where we have ultimate control. So head over to the publishing apps. And because we are in MT4, we click on the EA for MT4 version. There's also the MT5 version and click select free download. Make sure you have the FX Blue Publisher app installed in your VPS. So I've got it here. What I'm going to do is a double click on it and you can see it's already detected the two MetaTrader platforms that I have already installed. So select all and install and press OK. Once the installation is complete, open up one of your MetaTrader terminals and here you don't need to restart it. Just under Expert Advisors in the Navigator window, right click and hit Refresh and you can see the FX Blue Publisher app is now um, has been installed. To get it working, you need to go up to the top, go to Tools, Options, under Expert Advisors, you need to allow automated trading, allow GLL inputs, and allow web requests for listed URL. And you need to put in HTTPS colon slash slash publisher.fxblue.com and hit OK. And you need to do that for the other terminal as, as well. So file, options, expert advisors, OK, and refresh our expert advisors list. Let's close all these windows because we don't need them and open up a brand new window. Now it doesn't matter what chart you open up, but you do want to use something that trades fairly regularly. You don't want an exotic pair. So let's choose the Euro USD, which I know is a type of a chart that will trade quite regularly. So what we're going to do is drag our FX Blue Publisher app onto this chart. The next most important field is publication period in minutes. So the default value is set to five. That means this is going to publish every five minutes. To get more control, you can set that to one and hit OK. That is our very first account already set up with FX Blue. We're going to repeat the exact same process with the second account. Create any chart. 
drag FX Blue Publisher onto the chart. Go over to Common. Make sure Allow DLL Imports is selected. Go to Imports, set the username, set the password, and then the publication period minutes to however uh, long you want. One minute will give you the most accurate results. And that is our second account already set up. Back in FX Blue, head over to My Accounts. And now because you have already published for the first time, you can see these two accounts. The It has detected the account number, the broker, the currency, and the account balance. And if you select any one of those accounts, it will take you to the URL that you can check on your phone anywhere you want to go to check that one particular account. And while this page is great, it will always be updated every minute because we, that's what we set it up to in our FX Blue settings. This is just one account. It's not really that great. So what we need to do is be able to view both accounts at once at the same time. To do that, head up to the top in the browser, you see fxblue.com slash users slash your account name. So we're going to put in slash portfolio. Now we are going to create a brand new portfolio that contains both accounts. Let's give it a portfolio name and let's give it a portfolio title and description and select create portfolio. Now this page is much more useful. From a quick glance, we can see this particular account, the balance, the equity, the free margin, and most importantly, how long it was updated ago. And you can see it was updated one second ago. So let's add our second account to this portfolio. Select Add Account and put in the username of this second account. Now that our second account has been added, it was updated two seconds ago, and the first account was updated 47 seconds ago, both within a minute, so both are running okay. We know that our VPS is running, we know that our both accounts are running fine. The URL you want to save is not this one at the bottom, but the top one where it says fxblue.com slash users slash your portfolio name and then slash portfolio. Let's see it working in action. I'm going to place a brand new order, any lot size. I'm just going to sell. Okay, now you can see I am holding a loss of negative $13. Remember that FX Blue is set to update every single minute, so wait one minute and then head over to FS Blue and check it. Back to FX Blue, and you can see this page has been updated. We have a floating profit and loss in the second account of $21, but that is really not the most important number you should be looking at. You should be looking at the free margin and when it was updated, which is 44 seconds ago. And you can check that anywhere on your phone anytime. Next, I want to show you what happens when your VPS crashes. Let's close all these MetaTrader terminals to simulate a crash. So now nothing is running on this VPS. And now if we head back to FX Blue, we know that there's something wrong because this first account hasn't been updated for three minutes and the second account has not been updated for two minutes which is exactly the same as if the VPS has crashed or if you accidentally close the MetaTrader terminal. So I want to show you one extra tip. So with this VPS provider, it comes with this auto notify button on the left hand side, and you can see it's called auto notify app and it has multiple functions, which is really cool. So first of all is auto login. So you can log in to this VPS automatically if you put in your username and password and hit enable login. But what is even more cool is the auto startup. So auto startup is actually a function that is already available in Windows. However, auto startup in the Windows function, it only kicks off an application when you reboot your PC. What if you're managing five, 10 different MT4 accounts, you accidentally close one. Auto startup in the Windows function will not solve that issue, which is why this application will help you if you accidentally close a window. So you go over to, over to add a new. In C program files, locate the um, folder where you have your first MetaTrader installation, select terminal.exe, press open, and then do the exactly the same thing for the second installation. See, the auto um, startup application has already detected that these two applications are not running, so it has restarted them automatically. And if I close this one down accidentally again, I'm going to close both of them down accidentally and let the application do its thing. 
give it a couple of seconds. Looks like it's waiting 10 seconds. So first application has been started and second application has been started. Another great thing about this VPS provider, if I right click and go over to task manager, head over to performance, you see that this VPS has comes with over three gigahertz of CPU. There is eight gigs of memory and it is reasonably fast. I've tested many other VPS providers before. I have bought and paid for expensive 32 gigs of RAM. However, because other VPS providers try to sell as many VPSs for the same hardware, they overload them. And for even for the most expensive VPS providers, I try to move my mouse and the mouse is like, I have to wait like 30 seconds a minute for my mouse just to go across to the other side of the screen. So this VPS is pretty good because it comes with this auto notify app and if I move my mouse click through you can see how fast the MetaTrader terminal reacts. Thanks Trading FX VPS for sponsoring this video. I will post a link below if you want to sign up and try them for yourself. If you're new to using VPSs or using MetaTrader terminals and you want to find out more on how to install multiple MT4 or MT5 terminals on one VPS or PC, then watch this video right here. Thanks for watching. Bye.